Hello guys, this is Nine, nine Reasons Why. Welcome back. Well, today we are going to do something different. We are going to learn how to create arrows or different shapes or pointers in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay. Now let's open up uh, Final Cut Pro 10 and let's go to the elements on the left side okay and then we will have to drag the shape there on top of any video that you have on your timeline so there you go now you transform click on that to transform it so you want to reduce the size of the shape there to any shape you, any size you want that will match the thing that you want to point to. Uh, let's change it to 50% there so that it is clear. Okay, you notice that we need to move it slightly smaller. Okay, now let's change it to the shape we want. We can change it to square or to diamond or to star, but at the moment we want arrow so let's get an arrow sign okay so we've got that and let's make it smaller again we just want to point to the airport there okay so okay so we make it small as we want if you can drag it or move it to any position you want um, I click on it again. It's actually the picture that's selected. So let's click on the on that one again. So now you can change. You can click on fill. So now now we remove the white color in the middle of the arrow. So that's what that fill is for. Is to fill the middle. Now you can change the roundness of the shape as to to make it smoother. Let's go back a bit. Yep. So it's a bit smoother now. And we can change the width of the outline if you want it to be showing quite more. And you can make the corners rounded a bit or beveled a bit. You can move that slider to however intensity you want it. Uh, to drop the shadows, you can do that to drop the shadow. And you could drop shadow distance. So you can move that to move the shadow around. And the angle, you can turn that wheel around. And that will kind of like a, create a shadow around the arrow. OK. And then the center one, you can move it. In the square you've got, you can move it however throughout the axis where you want it as you're dragging the pointer or the arrow so just leave it centered now for now so that's almost what you need to do and you can create you can turn it to any side of, that you, you probably want okay so now let us see let's point it to one of the airports airports and this Let's go back to our arrow. Now let's change the fill color of the of the arrow. So we change it to black to make it pop out. So fill. Now click on fill. Don't forget. So it's it's there. It's not. It's actually a dark blue. Okay. So now that's that's kind of popping out. Uh, let's change it to the color of the uh, airport so that will. You can just click on the pincher then click on one of the airports. So now you can see it's actually copying the color of the airports. You can also, now let's change it to white, the outline. So that's perfect. That's the, that matches the table and that matches the, the airport. So there you go. I'm going to just reduce the size to what we would want and that's it. So guys, if you found it helpful today, please 
give us a thumbs up or a comment or like and also please subscribe and click the bell notification so that when we've got new videos you'll be notified thank you see you soon